Haptic devices are often bulky and rigid, making them unsuitable for ubiquitous interaction and mixed reality situations where the user must interact with both the virtual and the real world. To address this, we introduce an always available haptic device capable of producing tactile sensations of pressure, temperature, and vibration at the fingertip. When the device is not active, it has minimal impact on the user's natural finger sensations and dexterity, allowing it to be worn throughout the day. This prototype, called Hydro Ring, was implemented using a hydraulic circuit which pumps water through a thin latex tube worn across the pad of the finger. Two variable speed peristaltic pumps force water of two different temperatures into a drip chamber where they are mixed and the pressure waves from the peristaltic pumps are dampened. As water flows from the drip chamber through the latex tube, the tube applies pressure to the finger pad. A thin layer of clear, low-density polyethylene constrains the expansion of the tube towards the finger. A solenoid valve controls the flow of water, allowing pressure to build, or switching open and closed at different frequencies to provide vibration sensations. Hydro Ring is able to produce pressure at the fingertips within the range of 0.1 to 2.6 newtons. It can produce vibrations in the range of 0 to 50 hertz. And by mixing water from two different reservoirs, it can produce temperatures within the range of 2 to 60 degrees Celsius. To illustrate the potential of mixed reality haptics, we outline a few potential use cases. The device itself can be worn throughout the day and in environments which may be dirty or wet. The form factor allows users to leverage the natural dexterity and sensitivity of their hands to perform intricate assembly tasks while still being able to receive notifications or other information through the new haptic channel. Existing objects and devices can be augmented with haptic feedback. Here the user experiences thermal feedback provided by an interactive children's book. Lastly, Mixed reality haptics can be integrated into existing AR platforms which typically focus on visual elements. Here, the user can not only see the virtual content, but can feel vibration as they make virtual contact and feel an increased pressure as they manipulate that content. We conducted a controlled study to evaluate the prototype and determine whether or not users can perceive and recognize the tactile stimuli provided by the device. A second study evaluated how their natural perceptions of pressure, temperature, vibration, and texture are affected by wearing the ring. Overall, users could discriminate between multiple levels of all three types of stimuli. Additionally, we found that the device had minimal impact on the wearer with only a 4% impact to users' existing tactile perception.